Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Locker Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 20, Construction of Quadrilaterals, Exercise 28, Question number 3. Here in this question, it says that construct a quadrilateral, right? So we have to construct another quadrilateral this time. What have they given over here? Let's see. Construct a quadrilateral PQRS in which PQ is equal to QR, that is your 4.5 centimeters. PS is equal to RS that is 5.8 centimeters and angle PQR 120 degrees. Now it's just like the previous question only they have changed the measurements of the angles and the sides. Here we have the rough figure also side by side. It's quite important to keep looking at the rough figure one. You make one rough figure and the entire sketch of the figure is in your mind. See we have got over here what PQRS. So P, Q, R, S. Remember, we will always make the points either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Beginning from the first point that was P, I have gone here. You are anti-clockwise. You can see P to Q to R to S. This is very important. Otherwise, you may make the diagonals as the sides and the, dia uh, the sides as the diagonals, which is going to give you the incorrect figure. Now, see, we have P, Q 4.5 centimeters and P, S 5.8 and SR 5.8. So we are going to do what is C. First of all, take the ruler yourself. You've got the ruler. And now on the ruler, what we're supposed to do, we're going to draw an arc. Okay, we will be drawing an arc here. Just let me show you. Right. On the ruler, we will draw the line of 4.5 centimeters. So we'll begin from zero, right? As I said, and take this to till your 4.5 right I think that much should be enough right now 4.5 this is and you can see this one point that I have marked this is my P Q points these two points they are my one is P and one is Q right wait a second let me just adjust the thickness it's looking quite shabby so let's make it with a thinner line right so we'll begin from zero up till my 4.5 like that you can see so we've done this thing and now you can see you can label these points if you feel like one point we will label as p that is the one on the left side and the other one on the right side that is my point q and together these are of 4.5 centimeters this you can also write over here 4.5 centimeters now from point Q we have to draw first of all an angle of 120 degrees so look here we'll take the compass again open this compass to a suitable uh, uh, radius right see here I've kept it let's open this thing not very big not very small just something that is gonna become be very suitable right so I've gone with this uh, this is actually more but still I have just taken this now from this thing you can see what have we actually got over here so uh, this one it's of 2.6 right so I'll move this thing and I'll keep it at the point that we have made here intersection you can see I've drawn this arc and then I will keep my compass at this point and again I will draw an arc but with the same radius my radius was 2.6 so I will again ex make it 2.6 now draw the radius this one okay and I have to move my compass because I cannot move it without increasing the radius but you will move it without changing the radius right right like that and again 2.6 here and just cut an arc here that's it this is your 120 degrees we're going to be joining these two together all as well. See, using your ruler, right? This will become what? 120, right? However, we need 4.5 centimeters. Okay. So what you will do is first of all, you will draw this only. Right. Just like that. I have extended this. And now on this line that I have, this line Q, I'll just keep my compass at point Q 
and I will open the compass to 4.5 my compass is 4.5 now okay 4.5 let me check right that's 4.5 let's now cut an arc here so what will this become this is your point R and again we have formed QR you can see QR is also of 4.5 centimeters okay make the labelings clear here I wasn't able to make it because I wasn't having the spaces let's now begin now we will take 5.8 on our compass 5.8 and see how quickly you will be able to do it 5.8 I have taken on the compass this is 5.8 right 5.8 and keep this thing at point P once you've done that cut an arc from point P okay something like that this is a little too big but we'll erase the rest of the part right so that we don't have to extend it again now I'll keep uh, your compass at point R right maybe a little below that should be fine and again we will uh, draw the arc right something like that this is done let me erase the rest of this arc it's not required okay now this much part we have got and again we will join these two together using the ruler so one line I will take from your point P right one line that I will take will be from point P and again this will join this point right mm, like that now this is done and this point that is joining is, is being joined this is your S you can also mark that over here this is my point S we have formed PS we will label that one later but first we will draw, draw the last line so connect S and R on the figure like that so we have connected this one it is of 5.8 centimeters right and SR or RS that is also of 5.8 centimeters so that's your figure drawn you can even label this angle that's there this is your 120 and I wasn't having appropriately so make this circle completely and you can label that 120 angle Q PQR 120 degrees and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye